we've got some big news to share with you. Not only are we leaving this campsite, um, we're actually leaving Germany. In fact, we're going back to the UK. Uh, we've made a very, very, very difficult decision. I'm going back to the UK with seeing as an adventure we've got something wrong with our brakes i didn't realize it was doing this sort of damage it turns out we had to come back and we're absolutely gutted that we've had to come back to the uk to be honest with you because we're having the best time in europe but a load of things went wrong welcome back to the channel we're janine and liam day a married couple who have just completed one and a half years full-time van life in the uk last week we were well on our way to our new europe van life adventures and we made it through france and luxembourg and as far as Munich in Germany for the world's largest beer festival, Oktoberfest. But this week we have had some upsetting and disappointing decisions to make, which has led us to return back to the UK. It's been a tough pill to swallow, but a necessary one, as we begin the video at the official Oktoberfest campsite in Germany. Right, welcome back to the channel. Um, we are still in Germany. We are at the Oktoberfest campsite. I can quite happily say we're leaving. <laughs> I'm really not going to miss this campsite. It's it's served its purpose, but man, it's depressing. It is the, the most depressing campsite. It's gone all floody. They've had a lot. We've had a lot of rain this weekend, as you probably saw in the last video of the of Oktoberfest. We've had a really good time. It's been up and down, and all the rest of it. We've got some big news to share with you. Not only are we leaving this campsite, um, we're actually leaving Germany. In fact, we're going back to the UK. Uh, we've made a very 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 difficult decision um janine and i and it's we we're gonna have to go back to the uk <sighs> gonna explain more about that um when my head's straight uh but now i'm just focusing on getting out of germany it's a hell of a drive back to back to france we're talking 12 hours probably gonna have to do it over two days and then yeah we're gonna catch the ferry back to the uk but first of all let's leave this doggole Without wasting any time at all, we left the muddy campsite and headed back north again on the Autobahn, Germany's infamous no-speed motorway, noticing the colour of the leaves changing since the last time we passed only three days earlier. We continued this mega all-day drive to our next stop. We headed to a place called Zweibrücken, where we intend on checking out our very first European air. It's uh, 14 euros. <gasps> but because we've been here and we've got a long drive today and a long drive tomorrow, I'm just not going to shop around, but... Um, I thought they were, I thought airs were free or like really low cost. Oh, you have to leave a 50 euro deposit as well <laughs> for, a, for a key so you can use the bathroom. Still 15 euros is quite cheap anyway, if you think of it in campsite terms. In campsite terms, back in, so it'd be like what, 13 quid? It's, so there's some car parks that are gonna be like that, that price. Anyway, I need to go and tell them to lift the barrier up and then we'll get, get in. Come on then. Following a shadow down to the graveyard Gonna say a prayer, gonna pay my dues I've been running wild ever since I left. Oh, this isn't too bad. It feels like we're kind of in nature. Um, there's like a mini golf course to the left of me here and a running track to the right of me. So we've got plenty of activities to do if we get bored. But we're going to go and use these 50 euro toilets anyway. Hopefully we do get the money back. God, it's actually really nice here. They've got like um, a beer garden apparently and a really big park for the kids. It looks really good. The facilities were actually very nice and extremely clean. After having a quick look around, we headed into Zweibrücken town. Oh, it's actually a really nice autumn day. Um, Oktoberfest was a complete washout, as you probably saw from our last video. But here in Zweibrücken, at this time of the day, on the public, public bank holiday, it's beautiful. Like a proper autumnal day. There's leaves on the ground and everything. So we're going to go out for a little walk after that long drive and see what the people of Fibra can do on their public bank holiday. We went for an autumnal stroll in the town of Zweibrücken, which translated means two bridges. What Liam and I love about travelling is hardly ever the destination, but what we discover along the way, and Zweibrücken was one of those places. We walked along the beautiful Schwarzbach River, beneath the tall trees, and stopped off for a falafel kebab and an apple strudel, whilst soaking up the enchanting vibe of the place. As it got dark, we headed back to the air, where we took the opportunity to have an early night, as we knew we had a long drive the next day. I thought I I was long since over and done with you. Was so certain I Good morning everyone. Today we have woken up in Zweibrücken, a gorgeous little town or village or I don't think it's a city. Well, it's not a city. We have woken up in this beautiful 
little, I'm not sure if it's an air or like a cross between an air and a campsite. It's really nice though, it's really peaceful. We are still on our mission to go. So we are heading back to the UK. I'm gonna let Liam explain why we're going back to the UK. We wanna get on the road basically and set off early and try and miss some traffic because the journeys here are a bit lengthy. <laughs> to say the least and yeah so we just want to set off early and then when we get to where we're going Liam's gonna explain what's going on and why we're going back because it's really random and uh, we're trying not to get too down about it uh, we're not gonna get down at all actually we're not getting down about it everything is an adventure and even going back to the UK we're seeing as an adventure um, so yeah that's what we're doing Anyway, we're gonna hop in the front seat now and make our way out of this gorgeous place. Good morning, Mr. Day. Good morning, Mrs. Day. Are you ready for the yacht? Yeah, I'm ready for the, the biggest road trip out of the two of them now. Yeah. The one that I'm least looking forward to, but we need to get done. I think um, traffic should have subsided for rush hour now. And if we don't get a vegan McFlurry whilst we're here, we're not. this will be our third time in McDonald's in the last 10 years. <laughs> um, if we don't get one, um, I'll be so gutted and I know you will as well. Yeah. <laughs> you're gonna do it while you're here. For those that don't know, McDonald's in Germany offer a vegan McFlurry, something that isn't on offer in the UK and has been on our list of things to try whilst we're here. So off we go on a mission to eat ice cream for breakfast. We find a McDonald's right near the border of Luxembourg and manage to bag ourselves the chocolate flavor with chocolate sprinkles. Our review is that it was nice, probably a bit sweet and not ideal for breakfast. Great anyway, we continued our journey to France. Ah, oh, so we have just arrived in Dieppe, um, and as we were pulling in to the air, so we're staying in an air tonight, as we were pulling in, our brakes started making even more of a dodgy noise. So it was making a noise earlier, um, but we continued driving down here and it just got really bad. And then we pulled up, um, Liam wanted to check it out. He looked down and there's something on the floor that had fallen off. And I mean, Liam's having a look at it now, but we've got something wrong with our brakes. <laughs> what an absolute nightmare. So that is one shot disc part of a disc brake. So annoying. Yeah, it's um, isn't it funny how we got to the here and it popped off? Yeah. <clears throat> I don't know how it's I don't know how it's all come to light. It was when we were going through those real cobbledy cobbledy air roads. Yeah. That I started noticing it properly, but I didn't realise it was doing this sort of damage. Anyway, I just spoke to spoke to a friend who's a mechanic, and he, uh, if we take it easy, we should we should get to we should get to the UK, we should get to England, um, using handbrakes, low gears. And uh, we should be uh, we should be right. I think it's we believe it's the pa the the passenger side. We went straight to bed as had to be up at 3 a.m. to catch the ferry over to New Haven in the UK. We boarded the ferry slightly nervous about our brakes. The brakes are just one part of a long list of things that have gone wrong for us whilst in Europe, which Liam will explain shortly. We pulled over and called a mobile mechanic who came and replaced the brake pads. We then set off heading as far north as possible before being completely exhausted and having to pull over for the night. Sometimes things happen beyond your control as if they have a life of their own the choices you make what appears to be right seems you just have no say as if you're a witness to your own mistakes it's easy to play along after you see what the choices came to be Good morning from Beeston. We made it as far yesterday as Nottinghamshire uh, before I had to pull over through sheer exhaustion. We pulled over and I crawled in, into bed and I spent 24 hours in bed feeling like I had the flu. Uh, I woke up this morning and I feel almost completely better. It's quite, it must be because of all of the driving, the long distance uh, driving we've been doing recently and it's taken its toll, which is a lesson learned. The idea was to get to Munich and spend the weekend in Munich because you know October that was the last weekend of Oktoberfest and then from there have a nice leisurely pace going towards Romania over a month but it turns out we had to come back and we're absolutely gutted 
that we've had to come back to the UK to be honest with you because we were having the best time in Europe but a load of things went wrong and I'm about to share with you now what went wrong. So the first thing that went wrong was the water coming in through the skylight. What we thought for the whole time was condensation, it still could be condensation, we don't know until we know, uh, but obviously now almost every time when it rains uh, we get water coming through that skylight which means it probably is a leak. Um, we need to sort that out really quickly, plus we need to sort out the con something for the condensation as well uh, because there is, there is condensation around that area and we, we just need to get it all sorted. So water in a van, not a good thing, uh, we need to get that sorted. That on, an, on, on its own wouldn't have been the reason why we come back because I reckon we could have got that sorted whilst out in Europe. Uh, but we also lost our logbook as well. Um, which was a felt like an omen uh, at that time you need a logbook in Europe it's the thing it's the glue that holds it all together there's so many regulations you need a logbook in England um, and I think what happened was we just looked after it so much that we lost it so that wasn't good third thing that happened was our boiler is making horrendous noises our bubble boiler heats our shower heats our water uh, now isn't working and it's making a lot of grunting noises yes it's, there's water in it there's water in the tank the pump's working fine, there's just something's not right there. So I've contacted Bobble and they're gonna try and work out what it is. If not, we might have to go and see them to get it sorted. And of course, on the way back from Munich, our brake pads fell off. So that was gonna happen anyway. <laughs> oh man, it was a bit of a cluster of things going wrong. And uh, it felt, it, it leaves you feeling inside that you should go back and get a load of stuff sorted and see it as a test run which is a shame because it, it was the, probably the most amount of fun we've ever had in the van in Europe and we're itching to get back out there. So we've said we're gonna get all of the problems sorted. We're in winter mode now, so we're gonna know any problems straight away and then get back out to Europe as soon as possible. I promised myself that the next time I come back to the UK, either way, I'd get my C1 license. I was sort of hoping to for the laws to change on this, which they are in the process of doing, so that everyone gets to drive a seven and a half ton on a car license. They're probably gonna take quite a while to change. There's a lot of problems in the world. This is a three and a half ton. We'd love it to be rated to a four ton. The process that that now is gonna take for me is I've gotta take a theory, I've gotta take a hazard, and I've gotta take a practical test, but I've been driving around a big van for a long time now. Many people have told me that I should blitz the test. As part of that, we've gotta get uh, more suspension, um, whether it be sort of extra leaf springs on there or, or what have you. So that's gonna happen really, really soon. And we might even change the decals on the side of the van so that we have no problems crossing borders um, with it saying a removals van, which is something that we posed as a stealth vehicle for the whole time we've been in the UK. And it's been a bit of fun as well. And we've really enjoyed it. Uh, but in Europe, they probably don't have a similar view on it. Stealth vans probably don't need to be stealth vans because they're so accommodating to, to camper vans. Um, however, the British uh, Border Patrols thought it was brilliant. So we might get that changed as well. So there's a good long list of things that we need to get done. As soon as those things are done, we're back into Europe and cracking on with autumn winter van life. Whilst we're here back in the UK, we are not gonna let autumn pass. We're gonna really enjoy it as much as possible whilst we're getting the things done. So that's the update for you. Right now we are leaving Beeston and we are gonna go and I'm probably going to find another really nice location um, to eat some healthy food, get our energy back and then we're off to Liverpool to start getting the modifications done to the van. You got something. Morning. Morning. What's the plan? Um, I think we should leave uh, and I reckon we go somewhere, find somewhere really nice near Liverpool to park up um, and yeah, and just enjoy being somewhere really gorgeous. That's what I'd like anyway. So if we can find like a forest or something, that would be good. That would be perfect, yeah. All right, let's go. Our plan is to go to somewhere beautiful for Liam to recover before we head to Liverpool to get some much needed help sorting out our van issues. But first we had to grab some supplies from Sainsbury's and it would be rude not to get a Cherry Bakewell donut from Donuts. We grabbed our supplies and hit the road. Okay, so that's the food shop done. We are now off to go and find our park up. We want to park up near a forest or in a forest near Liverpool. So we want to go for a lovely forest walk, eat some food, um, and have a really nice stay in a forest. So that's our challenge. We need more than hopes and wishes for us to make it through the night. Stormy weather, weary eyes, hope to make it. OK, 
Okay, so we've just arrived after that long journey to the Delamere Forest. That's where we're at now. Um, we've just parked up and we're gonna go for a walk and a wander and stretch our legs through the forest. So, off we go. We headed into the impressive 972 hectare Delamere Forest, which was truly magnificent. And we both remarked on it being one of the nicest woodlands we have been to in the UK. It was the setting we needed to clear our heads and reflect on a crazy couple of weeks. Nature is a fantastic teacher. It's also a great listener and therapist. And Delamere Woods was exactly where we needed to be that day. It's all right actually, it's not too cold. The weather is nice and mild. I think coming to this forest though has made it all the much better. Back in the forest, back in nature this is what we should have been doing in the first place is stopping a lot more Oktoberfest obviously won't bend around our our time frame it, it created the time frame but now we're gonna pay way more attention to that leaving Europe absolutely sucked uh, I want to go back there ASAP, but we've just got to suck it up, to be honest, and crack on because we need to get these things sorted for the van and as soon as they're done we can get back out to Europe and have some fun. Oh wow, what an amazing afternoon we've had. Uh, now we've got the task of finding a park up um, somewhere nearby before it gets dark. And we'd love it to be in the same sort of theme um, as this afternoon in the, in the forest setting if we can. So that's what we're looking for. We went back to the van and left the forest in search of a nice quiet place to park up for the evening. Our destination showed us signs that made us slightly dubious about the location. There's a few beer cans knocking around so this was going to be mine and Liam's park up for the evening but I think we're just going to get the hell out of here because we are both feeling really tired and we don't want to risk maybe being woken up by party heads or boy racers or whatever so yeah I think we're just gonna try and find somewhere else 10 minutes of driving and we found a quiet lay-by just in time before the sun sets okay not quite the glamorous park up that we wanted however at least we're not going to have hopefully we're not going to have any boy racers outside the van or any party goers drinking but now we're we've parked up and we're gonna get some food on the go because I'm so hungry so what's for dinner shepherd's pie or is it cottage pie doesn't matter because we're using lentils <laughs> why are we using lentils uh lent th these bad boys poi lentils are brilliant with shepherd's pie they're so good that my mum who's not vegan also uses them now for every time she has a shepherd's pie uh really recommend poi lentils from the supermarket for this uh, it's a lot healthier as well um so yeah we're make i'm making a poi lentil shepherd's pie or cottage pie whichever way you want to say it and uh, I'm going to get cracking. Oh, I've got to do it in the way that Janine likes it as well, which is super rich. I'm the type of person that puts lots of vegetables in food. Janine needs vegetables disguised in food. Um, so I'm going to do my best to disguise some vegetables in her food. I'll tell you one thing we haven't got is a friggin' masher. I could sit in this chair for a thousand years and watch the Watch the 
Secret ingredient, of course, it has to be Marmite. <laughs> Just want to point out Janine on a little stool right now. I had to get it. I, <laughs> I had to get the Marmite. It's the only way to sit at the back of these cupboards. Um, so, yeah, and I've got a hot water bottle as well to keep myself warm. And you actually taller than me when you're on that stool. <laughs> Sometimes I wonder if I'll ever be Hey! Hurry up. Okay. Whoa. Something was actually on fire inside the oven, yeah. um, so we had to turn it off. Could have done a little bit more to brown, but we need to find out what was on fire first. Awesome. Happy? Happy. This is your favourite meal, isn't it? Yeah. One of your favourite meals. Yeah. yeah. It's the best with baked beans, though. <laughs> yeah, I'll take your word for that. <laughs> no, no, I agree. It's a good, it's a good combo. Oh, you can't have a shepherd's pie without baked beans. Honestly, <laughs> it is the best combination for food ever. We sat and ate the delicious shepherd's pie that Liam had made, and once again knew we had a lot of challenges ahead of us to get the van fit for Europe again. It doesn't matter what we do in life, though, as long as we are together and enjoying the journey. One thing is definitely for sure, if the last week was anything to go by, it's going to be one hell of an autumn. Well, we wait. It's gonna be too hot. I'll burn my mouth, honestly. Eat it. <laughs> I've done this before, I'm like, oh no, Jenny wants me to do something. To do it. Oh, I couldn't not be able to taste anything for a week afterwards. <laughs> Slow mow it down as well. All Brilliant. for the sake of YouTube. I'm not doing it. I'm not. I'm enjoying this. I'm enjoying I'm not gonna do it. I know that's piping hot. The amount of steam that's coming off it. Mmm. <laughs> <laughs> 